There was a couple of things that I really liked about the Curse of Audrey intro, and that's the fact that it takes these typical tropes that you've seen in movies before, but completely circumvents them very early on. And I think that's a really interesting tact because it puts you in the back foot, changes the way you would think about these movies. We opened up to a text that tells you that a couple of centuries ago, pilgrims came from Ireland, settled in America and created their own commune. And they've never really evolved from then on. So even though the movie's set in the 70s, we still have this uh, community that feels as if they've set in like, the 17th or 18th century. And we kind of jump to Agatha Earnshaw, who has been proclaimed that she may be a witch <clears throat> and everybody else's crops are dying but hers are flourishing which is why she's been chastised and chased as a witch and you feel as if it's going to go down the group of this community killing her which they don't they just kind of ostracize her and within the 12 minutes mark we know that she is indeed a witch they don't hide it it's their forefront in the movie she uh, has a coven, she does some darkness uh, and, and dangerous spells and she has a daughter that nobody knows about, Audrey, who is now of age of becoming a woman and who is taking part uh, in these uh, spells and, and weird incantations that they do and who has a strange power. And she sees her mother being um, attacked by one of the commune members and decides that because she is of age, because she has the ability, that she is going to get revenge for her mum. And that's where we're introduced to this character who is awful. Audrey Henshaw is one of the worst characters I've seen. She is completely focused on, on torturing some of the community members of really embracing that evil side and it's interesting to have this character as she slowly destroys her own community that she's never really been a part of she's always been an outsider and to see the coven that kind of protect her and usher this new wave of evil into the world and it doesn't feel the need to rush its story. It takes its time by showing you these spells slowly taking effect on the people they're affecting to see that the people in the community start to realise that something is poisonous, that something is wrong and something is, is going to destroy them but acting too lackadaisical to really do any difference it's really well shot and has a nice uh, photography about it. I think the costuming is great. I think the characters are interesting and the story kept me curious about where it was going to go. That uh, wrong fitting me with showing that they were witches and shoot, telling us that this was set in the modern day even though they were still you know, living uh, in the ways of the past really put me in the back foot and changed me off of, of what I thought the movie was going to be and it made it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more uh, daring in the way it was telling its story. And although it may be typical of these kind of movies, I feel it has enough good production values, enough good acting and storytelling to really keep you captivated. It's not uh, a, 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 an unbelievably unmissable Halloween movie, but it's a really good, creepy, atmospheric film that I can wholeheartedly recommend checking out. If you like things like The Witch, this has aspects of that, but a little bit more oomph about it. It's one that I would love to know your thoughts on, if you've seen. Let me know in the comment box your thoughts on this movie, and I'll see you next time on Man B Film.